Hello, welcome to Winebox. I'm your host, Grant Phelps. Winebox is a project that started really the inception, I guess, was 2013 in my hometown of Christchurch. I've been living in Chile for 16 years now, but back in 2003 I traveled to Christchurch uh, to, visit, to visit my family and there was an earthquake in 2011 so it was my first time back in Christchurch post earthquake. It was, a, it was a pretty bad earthquake, I mean 70% of the downtown area was destroyed so really the only way the city council could come up with to keep all the businesses functioning while they were de demolishing everything and then starting with the rebuild was to put everything in containers so uh, you know it was, it was pretty for me mind-blowing to walk through the downtown part of, of Christchurch and literally, you know, the town I grew up in where I spent the first 20 odd years of my life, have no idea where, of where I was because there were no more landmarks left, all the buildings are gone. You know, that, that kind of feeling of, uh, you know, emptiness, I guess, continued until I arrived, arrived at the main kind of pedestrian thoroughfare, Cashel Street, where they'd put together a mall. Uh, so they, within five months of the earthquake, the city council managed to demolish all the buildings that were in that area originally bring in I think 60 odd containers from China, new containers, and put up this mall which is called Restart. And it was kind of I guess like an oasis in amongst all the devastation to see all the, the hustle and bustle that was there before, but with containers. Uh, bright colors, funky architecture, cool businesses, you know, bookstores, um, bars, restaurants, all that kind of stuff. Uh, even banks, so very, very cool. Um, it, it kind of blew my mind and it got me thinking about container architecture for the first time. You know, I actually bought my first book on container architecture in the oldest originally bookstore from Christchurch, which at that point was already in a container, and came back to Valparaiso where I'd already been living for several years at that point. And Valparaiso is, is you know, by far the most architecturally uh, eclectic city in Chile. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and it's a city that's renowned for its just crazy wacky architecture, bright colors, and all these hills just stuck on the hillsides, clinging on, hanging on there somehow. So I guess for me really the uh, inspiration I guess was coming, was seeing that first in Christchurch then coming back to Valparaiso and starting to think how is it that in Valparaiso, this great crazy eclectic city, no one's done anything with containers. I mean you look over towards the port and there's literally just over there, I don't know, 20, 30,000 containers stacked up on the, on the docks and yet at that time in Valparaiso no one had thought to live in a container so that was how, kind of how Winebox came about. It's built in Cerro Mariposas, which is one of the 42 hillside neighborhoods in Valparaiso. It's one that's really not very well known, and it's where I live. I mean, this is the neighborhood this, that I chose to live in because I like it. It's a really residential area. It's right in the middle of the, of the U that forms the bay of Valparaiso. Um, spectacular views, and also it's a very safe neighborhood, And but at the same time, it's, it's, an, it's a neighborhood that has no tourist infrastructure whatsoever, so there's not a single restaurant, bar, or a hotel here. This is a neighborhood that essentially people drive through on their way to the tourist attraction in Valparaiso. So, so really the inspiration was to do something here which was going to change the future of the neighborhood, shape it in some way, and yeah, really just do the first container structure uh, in Valparaiso. The land the hotel's on is a piece of land that I've known for 16 years because when I first moved to Chile, uh, the only person I knew in Valparaiso lived right behind the hotel where it is now. So. It's a piece of land that's in a great location. It's, it's right on one of the main roads. It's right on a curve. It's got an ob unobstructed view of the entire city and harbor. Um, but it had been an empty lot for, we think, around 50 years. Um, so I managed to acquire it. And yeah, essentially, that's where Winebox started. We, we started off by doing a pretty major excavation. Uh, it's going to be the only hotel, or it is the only hotel in Valparaiso with secure parking, underground parking, uh, which Everywhere else, if you're on the hills of Valparaiso, you have to park on the street. So that's one of the commercial advantages it has, I guess. Um, also, apart from, you know, being the first container structure uh, or container hotel in fact in Chile, it is also the first urban winery in the, the, the area of Valparaiso, the city of Valparaiso, and it's the first hotel in the southern hemisphere to make its own wine. So Valparaiso is a city which is ideally located to, to serve as a base to visit the surrounding wine regions of Leda Valley, which is 50 minutes away, Casablanca, which is a 30 minute drive, and Aconca, which is a little over an hour. Um, it's a perfect location, but there's nothing wine related in the city as it is, which is kind of crazy for me as a winemaker. Uh, you can have this great, amazing tourist destination in Chile, which is a country that produces so much wine, and yet here in Valparaiso, if you want to go and drink a glass of wine with a nice view of the ocean, there's really nowhere. 
Uh, that's going to change now with Winebox. So we've we've started making our own wine here, and that's going to that's going to be available uh, right now. We're going to be bottling the first wines, and probably in about a month. We've also got the we've got a wine bar, which is going to have we think around 80 different labels. Um, we've got a wine store. It's going to be the first specialist wine shop in Valparaiso with 320 different labels on the shelves. We're setting up a restaurant as well, which is going to take advantage of the rooftop terrace, which is, has an unobstructed 360 degree view of the city. So it's the first, it's going to be the only hotel in, in Valpo as well with a completely unobstructed um, view of the entire city, which is pretty cool. Okay, so obviously the concept and using containers, these are all containers that have been decommissioned, so they've all had 15 years of use, which is the maximum lifespan of a container on the ocean. So apart from the containers, we've also incorporated a lot of recycled elements into the, into the construction of the hotel. Pretty much all the furniture has been made with uh, recycled elements, like old bathtubs, which have converted into couches, um, coffee tables made out, made out of pallets, um, all the bathroom furniture as well is all made out of uh, recycled pallet wood. Uh, we've uh, insulated the entire hotel with recycled newspaper, uh, which is called injected cellulose, treated with a fire retardant. So it also makes the hotel very, very safe in terms of fire resistance. Um, containers as well, Valparos is a really earthquake prone area, so uh, building a hotel out of containers also makes it earthquake proof, which is fantastic. And if you want some more information about the hotel, you can check out our webpage, www.wineboxvalparaiso.com, or go to our Facebook page, Wineboxvalparaiso. Come and check us out.